Hey, what is up everybody? It's the dude, it's the rebel, it's the guy that steps to the next level. It's me once again, Mr. Kenny Sarge himself, aka Geek Dude, Dude Rebel, Level 92, Sergeant Crazy. Yep. And uh Ah, K Dog. Finally, finally got it. Put that in my books and put it off some notes. Welcome everybody to the Key Clip episode. For today, we have reached 40 Key Clip videos. That's right, we this is episode 40. Now, uh, on my last couple of reviews, I did. We all we seen the Game Gear. One of the, I probably say uh, a good handheld console from the uh, the Sega company, and it's in color. We're gonna get to a game on that soon. Uh, the game I also did was really hard to find. And thank God I found was um, Killer Instinct Go. That was the that was the second one after Killer Instinct, and then uh, I think there was another. I think there's another console that came on, and I'll try to review that soon, hopefully. Um, and so, also, to some of you guys, I don't know if y'all seen it yet, I did a bonus key clip, and that was uh, Super Smash Brothers at the place called Game Haven, that's in St. Louis, Missouri. Once again, that's such a good place to go. Uh, the address is 2518 Wood Woodson Road. Y'all should go to it. Um, but for today, I actually found me a great game for the Game Gear, and this actually is, um, uh, it, it, it's pretty obvious, you know, that it should have came here first, I think it was the first game, I don't know for sure, but, uh, either way, it was great, it's great, it was a great idea, so, without further ado, let me introduce you guys, to the game that actually started out on Genesis, which became popular, and became a mascot, is now on a portable, Mr. Sonic the Hedgehog, yes, Sonic the Hedgehog, was famous on home consoles, not as famous for portable consoles. So, as you already know, Sonic the Hedgehog is the mascot of um, Sega, as long, alongside with Mario as the mascot for Nintendo. Now, um, Sonic, first off, he, he's a pretty, he's a pretty cool game. Um, it's kind, it's kind of like Mario, only this time, you know, the coins. Like, say, all right, say it like this. I'm gonna try to switch it up. Like the coins are the his coins are rings. Uh, his speed is basically through dashing. Um, the only power ups he has is a shield and a um, yeah shield and invinci invincibility and speed. The shield basically is a just a barrier. If you get hit, bam, it doesn't lose all your rings. Uh, oh yeah, also yeah, like also like Mario, the original Mario. Uh, if he gets hit by a Goomba when he's at like a little Mario, then he dies. Uh, if he, unless he, this guy has a certain amount of rings, then he's still okay. Um, another thing about this game is pretty awesome. Uh, it's got, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a speed course, basically. Uh, it's like the faster you get there, the low time you get. And I remember playing on Genesis, and it would take me almost, I'd probably say maybe like, more than 30 seconds, like almost less close to a minute. Uh, the cool thing on here, another cool thing on here is what they have on the stages. Uh, they have like the springs because when you hit a spring, you might hit up another level or uh, another uh, set of rings. Sorry about that. Um, the enemies on here, like Mario, the Mario it had, uh, it had the Koopas, it had the Goombas, and it had some, it had some other things. Uh, the piranha plant, yeah. Uh, on this one, is basically the guy and the guy on here, the boss. First off, his name is Doctor Robotnik, aka Eggman, and he sends out these machines that scatter across the world, trying to attack Sonic and uh, preventing him to get in the Seven Chaos Emeralds. And once he gets to say Seven Chaos Emeralds, in my theory, like later on during the other Sonic games, he becomes the uh, the Super Sonic. And he's kind of like a, he's a golden Sonic. He basically, he's more invincible than to the naked eye. Uh, but yeah, Dr. Robotnik, he's a inventor. He's right there, if y'all can see him. Of course, that's Sonic right there. But then you got Dr. A-Man right there in that little, uh, that little hover bubble. You don't want to call it hover crab, but I call it hover bubble because it kind of looks like a ball. Uh, yeah, so he tries, he tries to stop uh, Sonic and everything that he does. Um, and then Sonic, he does his best to stop him. Um, another thing about this, uh, Eggman, I've seen Eggman in, 
Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. And he look he actually looks like an egg. Uh but also he has like the most skinniest legs. I'm like, that's kinda weird. It's kinda like a body mishap. Um and let's see, I think it was Genesis. Yeah. In Genesis, uh either you hit like a certain amount of coins or something, or um whatever. There once you get to the end and like Mario has the flag and he loads it down, goes to a castle, bam, let's call it. Uh, in this one, if he gets a certain amount of coins, the at the end is gonna be like some sort of um, like totem with a like not totem a flag, um, like a totem and like some sort of picture of a question mark. And once you hit it, it's gonna spin up, up in the air, and it's gonna come back down, land on either Doctor Eggman's face or uh, an exclamation point. Now on this one, it's exclamation point. Uh, and then once you hit that. It will take you to a a stage where you get like more uh more coins. Now the same way, <sighs> yeah, like that. And another stage, uh, and on the uh, Genesis, once you get to the end, same thing. Uh, it's a giant ring, and if you go inside it, you actually have a uh, another special stage there too. And that one, you get the uh, one of the Chaos Emeralds. And once again, it's like seven of those. It's seven emeralds. So just try your best to get them all. Um, let's see. I know this. I think this game is also on your uh, iPhone and Android app. Android phones. You know, just get the app. I deleted it because since now I got the Genesis, you know, it's kind of better for me to play it on there than just to play it on the phone. And it kind of gives me that old feeling back. Uh, but this one, like I said, it's. In general, uh, it's different. As in stage, but you know it still has the same. It still has the same thing as far as you know gameplay and objective. But um, yeah, this is kind of pretty cool. I found this at a V stock alongside by me buying the uh, Game Gear. And uh, without further ado, let's get this in. Start playing some Sonic. Hey, she has the uh, same intro. It's kind of cool. And we're going to start off with Green Hill Zone. We're going to uh, go through this whole stage real quick. Like I said, the music's uh, really good on this. So we only got 42 rings, so we got eight minutes fit. So that's kind of that doesn't really do any anything bad. You know, it's just saying, ha ha, you lost. Yeah, so, and like I said, I should say this first. Uh, mostly. All the stages, you know, they're they're designed differently, you know, it's uh portable. Gotta be careful with those springs. And the uh, arrows pointing down, I didn't know what that was at first, but now they're uh they, they're just uh checkpoints. Shot for this one. And we got 50 coins, and it gives me an exclamation point. And that's the only, like I said, that's the only way to get to the bonus. You had to get like at least 50 or over.
So this is basically the whole bonus stage, you know, you get more, uh, rings. I think it shows up like every time or something. I don't know what, uh, what special happens if you get... Uh, I either have to get all of them or something. And so right now, we're going to be heading to the boss stage. And you see floating around the screen, that's Dr. Eggman. He's a little ball. Okay, so I just died. Sorry about that. So right now we're gonna be uh, facing Mr. Eggman himself. And that was just quick. That's like 10 seconds worth. And then once in, get the capsule and free all the animals. It's so... <clears> that <throat> would actually do it for um, Sonic... For the Game Gear, and once again, I re I probably recommend this. You know, it's a pretty, like I said, pretty good game, and also especially those that actually love Sega games, including Sonic, who love Sega but not love Sonic. That's weird. So that's a, that's going to be it for key clip number forty, ladies and gentlemen. That is end. So what you guys can do right now, y'all can like and comment on the video. Y'all can also follow me on Facebook. I'm Ken Sargent, or you go to facebook.com slash do level 92 I'm also the same name on Instagram and on Twitter. And uh, until next time, I'll see y'all when I want to see y'all. Peace out.